I'm just the microphone right there. She came, we saw, she conquered. Deidre Allison Lewis entered my family 19 years ago. For my mother, Lisa, she was a sister, best friend, and co-parent. For me, she was aunt, mother, and also a best friend. For my grandmother, she was a beloved second daughter, and she changed our lives forever. We used to laugh and sing and dance together private, privately because she felt silly to get a public country rock and dumb kids songs were all part of the fun. And the gopher dance from the Kesha never failed to crack her up. We also made up stupid songs to express the mood of the moment. She always had time for me and gave me advice whenever I asked for it. It may have not, it may not have been what I wanted to hear, but it was honest and, and well thought out. We loved to color, draw, and play board games. She made a wonderful beef stew and pot pork chops. However, we made it to, we had to trick her into eating vegetables. She ate butternut squash for years and thought it was sweet potatoes. <laughs> I had to pull the wrapper out of the trash before she would believe me. The same thing happened with ground turkey. She had sworn she'd never eat it. When we went to restaurants, she sometimes could not remember things that she had eaten before. And we asked and would ask if she liked it when we were ordering it. She would say, I don't like that. And we would say, yes, you do. And then she, when she was eating it, she would say, I do like this. We traveled from Tennessee to, to Missouri, to Florida, to South Carolina, to Connecticut, to New Hampshire, to Georgia, to work, and many other places to play. Newport Mansions in Rhode Island, the Lobster Cruise in Mystic Harbor, Connecticut, Chair at Madison Square Garden, New York, Biltmore House, Christmases in North Carolina, Opryland, Nashville, free concerts on the river, and Caribbean cruises. And then there were, and then there were the hats. Every place we went, she got one to remember it by, and always wore one. She was, she always made time for me and helped me with homework without end. Even when she, even when we fussed, she made it funny. And when we laughed, we couldn't stay mad. When we could always depend on her in emergencies, and she was there to drive me, drive us anywhere we needed when needed. She helped care for me with my many surgeries, carrying me, bathing me, and making me laugh when I wanted to cry. <laughs> She shared everything with us, from her worries to her joys, and her extended family, except for the hairbrush that my nana got bought her. She always looked for the best in others and gave the best she had. For those of you who were her family before we were, you are very blessed to have had the extra years with her.